Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about this Keizu multi sharpener manufactured by this company called Kutsuwa. So here are the blunt uh, color pencils that I'm going to uh, test on this Keizu sharpener to see the different sharpeners that it can perform. So let's talk about the body itself first. So this is quite a compact sharpener. Uh, it's a transparent body that you can see all the shavings, all the parts inside there. And it is compact enough to be put inside your handbag, your uh, pencil case. At the bottom of the sharpener, you can find this um, sliding window that you can close the hole to prevent uh, dust from going in and uh, those uh, dust from coming out as well. And the packaging itself, uh, there are clear pictures to show you the different types of sharpeners that you can achieve uh, using this sharpener. It says that this is made in Japan. At the back of the uh, packaging, you can find that uh, in order to achieve different kind of sharpeners, you have to make some manual adjustment on the sharpener. The next question is, how do you adjust based on looking at the picture? Okay, this looks quite simple. All you have to do is to turn uh, the white cap. Okay, you say that you have to, there's an arrow sign indicated that you have to turn at a clockwise direction. Okay, so you just twist it and turn for different stages that you want the sharpness. Okay, can you see that? And then this is a stage three. Okay, and then, okay, right now we're going to turn to the very first stage that is the number one. So I just insert the pencil into the hole and then just turn it clockwise direction. Okay, it is done. So you can see that um, even though it is not that sharp, uh, for this type of sharpness, you can use it for a bigger area, uh, not meant for details. So next one, I'm going to use another pencil to test for the second stage. Right now, I can see some obvious difference on the pencil sharpness. For the rest of the sharpening process, I will just uh, do a time lapse on this. Finally, all the sharpening have completed. I find that for this uh, sharpener, um, the packaging itself is true to what they are trying to offer to consumer because some of the packaging, uh, because the marketing gimmicks, uh, that some companies are actually trying to mislead consumer in buying the products, but they are not actually the same as what the packaging says. Okay, the picture shows that um, the color of the woods remains the same for each stage. Okay, let's come to the pencils. So I can see that uh, the color itself, the height is almost symmetrical. There is not much difference on that part. I'm quite impressed because sometimes when you're over sharpening, uh, you will have more exposing of the color itself, which means that the life shelf of the pencil will become shorter. You will also need to be extra careful in trying to turn uh, the direction of the cap because there is a spring inside and if you try to force your way by turning at the anti-clockwise direction, you may end up trying to force the spring to split and then that's it. And I also noticed that there is a push button at the top of the cap. Uh, and I realized that when you're stage one, it is being locked. You can't push it through. And then when you're at stage five, you're able to push it down I think this kind of function is try to control or act as a stopper for not over sharpening. This is my guess. Okay, let's come to this part here. 
the opening of the sharpener. Okay, this is like a sliding uh, door, which looks like a spaceship design. Okay, it can be dismantled totally, and uh, then you can just pull out the shavings from the sharpeners. And I realized that this kind of two piece sharpener sometimes um, you can misplace it. Let's take a look at the amount of shavings that it can contain. So earlier on, I have done a fine round of sharpening and this is quite a significant small amount of shavings that it can contain. So when I'm using this sharpener, I will just uh, pull the capsule door at half opening. And then I will just uh, pull out the shavings. As mentioned earlier, for this type of sharpness, I usually use it for background coloring or I can use it to uh, color the first layer of the skin tone, but not for details. Okay, let's talk about details. For my detailing work, like drawing the eyes, the eyebrows, some uh, shadow area, I will use about stage 3. I don't usually sharpen until stage 5, uh, that is quite rare for me. Okay, you can now see the outcome of the 5 stages of how it looks like. So these sharpeners can accept 0.7mm uh, diameter. And this sharpener has no issue when you try to use it on a round or hexagon shaped color pencil. So this is how it looks like when you use it on a hexagon shaped Faber-Castell Classic color pencil. One thing for sure, this sharpener cannot use for those jumbo size color pencil. Let me give you a quick demo on how I use the stitch tree uh, sharpness to do some detailing works on the eye area. So this is a quick demo on how I draw the eye. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Next, let me see if it can fit in a Faber Castell as well as Caron Dash color pencil. Yeah, it fits. Wow, look at how sharp it is. Let's come to the pricing. So on Amazon itself, it is selling at $10.95 US dollar at the point that I'm filming this video. The pricing doesn't look attractive because it is exclusive of shipping costs. Wait a minute, let me take a look on Amazon. Because on Amazon, they're offering different pricing. The product looks similar, except that the one that I bought has a transparent body. After looking at the specs of different products, I find that there are two different manufacturers. Um, the one I'm having is called Kapsua. Some of them are like Nash design. So I think that is why the pricing are different. So from this review, is this sharpener worth buying? With this, I have listed down the pros and cons sitting side by side. So all these are based only on my own personal experience in using this tool. Let's go through all the pros first. Color would remain symmetrical for all stages. Over sharpening is controlled. 
Because some bad sharpener, they really expose your collar or wood to such an exaggerated length, which shorten the lifespan of your color pencil. So the compact size is definitely a plus point for this sharpener. And the last one is it is easy to operate even if you don't understand Japanese. Okay, let's talk about the con for this sharpener. It is pricey. Okay, um, I think for this price, I can definitely get a much bigger sharpener. The next minus point is it has a small shaving compartment, right, due to its compact size. The next minus point is the opening cover can be removed easily, which means that it can be misplaced as well. And the last one will be too many pricing causing confusion. And I almost forgotten one important uh, good point about this sharpener, that is, it is gentle on colored pencils. I hope the information served you well, and see you in my next video. Bye!